another Crazy Games Productions Halloween Extravaganza. Last year, the nerd and his friend survived Michael Myers. Such a pity. I was rooting for Myers. Let's see what horrors await them tonight. Sean Christian, you ready for the movie night? It's all day! Hey, what's up, guys? Hey! Hey! Hey, you awesome. guys just made it in time, so uh, why don't we get started? Alright, cool! But I just hope it's better than uh, what happened last year. Oh, you're telling me, man. Like, uh, should we uh, inform Christian about yeah, what Yeah, story is short. Um, we're about to have the movie night with Brandon and Melissa, but with a lot of the crazy shit that happened on his old block with this William Shatter looking motherfucker in the white mask. He just, uh, ruined, uh, some of the plans. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, uh, to be fair, I actually fought that motherfucker, and, uh, let's say, Michael Myers almost looked like, exactly like you. Handsome, adorable... More like a butt ugly version of you. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, but, anyway, uh, let's just get this night going. No shenanigans involved. <sighs> in the meantime, what am I in the mood to play? Maybe... <gasps> What? Might as well get something to eat right now. Oh my god, are you serious? God, leave me alone! Off. Right. Hey. That does it! I had enough with you! You're not going away until I give you a proper review, aren't you? Fuck you. We. Oh, uh, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, dude, oh, we're just Close gonna chill in here. Close the, yeah, Close yeah see ya. Greetings everyone, I am Thomas the Retro Nerd, reviewing the games good or bad. And welcome to my brand new location. Sure, it's a little different than what you're used to, but I'm happy to make new videos in the comfort of my brand new home. So, um, I'm still working out on the kinks and, uh, well, Halloween is right around the corner. So So, at this point, it's around that time to watch some of your favorite scary movies, listen to some scary music, and of course, just reading some of your favorite horror stories, like the subject of today's video. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde originated in 1886 as a novel by Robert Louis Stevenson. It's about Dr. Henry Jekyll, who created a potion that can excel the evil side out of you. However, upon drinking it, it transforms him into the sinister Mr. Edward Hyde. As Hyde, he terrorizes the town with his antics and its knucking futs. The book is an iconic piece of horror media and I highly recommend it. With a popular book, we got a bunch of movie adaptations. My favorite is the 1931 version starring Frederick March. Fun fact, the 1920 version starred John Barrymore, Drew Barrymore's grandfather. How peculiar. There are also some parodies of the story like The Nutty Professor or Dr. Jekyll and Miss Hyde. I've got... I've gotta go. Weird. 
Though out of all the adaptations of the story, a video game on the NES? This is beyond my comprehension. This game has been ridiculed and criticized all throughout the internet. I myself have talked about this before. And again, I wasn't satisfied with the final product. I originally reviewed the game in celebrating the Angry Video Game Nerds 10th Anniversary, though these days I have second thoughts on doing so. Mainly because what their parent company Screenwave did to me earlier this year. Sure, yeah, one of the videos that I have done earlier this year that's been taken down by Screenwave is now considered a lost episode. Until recently, it was discovered that it was archived on the internet. So Screenwave, here is my sign from me to you. Ugh! So back to the main subject, you can consider this as another one of my re-reviews. So let's just pop this into my NES and see if this really deserved the negative reception. It's not like I have a choice because this game won't leave me alone! Before I get into the game, I also want to talk about the cover. Hyde does look a lot like Two-Face, mainly because he was inspired by the look from the 1941 movie poster, which ironically what was the inspiration for Two-Face. Weird how character inspiration comes from. I can't believe this game is making me do this. By booting up the game, we learned that this game was developed by Advanced Communications Company, but in Japan, it was published by Toho. Yes, the same Toho that distributed the Godzilla franchise. While in America, it was Bandai. Very odd. So we get to the title screen. It has some eerie music composed by Mashiro Hasia. Another mention to the title screen is that the music is similar to a song from Tecmo's Rygar. Hasia also composed for that game. Here, listen. Very similar, right? Now on with the game. The plot is that Jekyll is on his way to the church because he's getting married to Miss Millicent. That's fine and dandy, but the problem rises at the beginning. Watch. Ugh. Fuck! I think I need something. Some Pepsi. Maybe. What the? I never seen anything like this before. Mmm, not bad. So, the gimmick of this game is that you have two meters on the top of the screen, a life bar and a stress meter. If your stress gets to green, you turn into Hyde. You die as Hyde, the game is over. There are two ways to die in this game. The first way is the traditional way, getting hit too many times. The other way is the most confusing way, getting as far as Jekyll. Whenever you play the Hyde stage and then all of a sudden a bolt of lightning struck and you die for no reason? Well, there is a reason. You've gone too far. It's kind of like a metaphor of what happens when evil triumphs over good. It's just weird. And in case you can't tell, the Hyde stages are basically the Jekyll stages, but in reverse. Yeah, it kind of gets confusing. Just gotta say, reviewing this game is a major challenge, but I'm gonna try anyway. The Jekyll stages is basically having him to get to the church. The only obstacles you have to worry are some townsfolk and animals. You have a cane as a weapon, but you can't use it. Use it on the townsfolk will cause against you. It's best to not bother them. However, this bomb maniac, that's what he's called in the manual, tries to annoy Jekyll with his lethal explosions. If you keep moving, you can avoid the blast. Other times, the blast is too lethal to avoid anyway. Then there is this bratty kid named Billy Pones who keeps sniping Jekyll because he has a crush on his fiancée! 
Uh, gross. There's also cats and dogs all named Luna and Murphy. They're easy to avoid, but the 8-bit yelling can get on my nerves. Then there's Elena McGowan. Her singing is so bad, it hurts. A little gander at the manual. Yeah, she's tone deaf! All I have to do is to pay her just to get her to stop. During the hype stages, it actually feels like a real game. You fight monsters to relieve your stress by punching and blasting brains on legs, demons, a flying skull, and others. It loses points because they're auto-scrolling stages and you know how much I hate them. However, this is all wrong. Content warning, everyone. This is not what Edward Hyde does. He's supposed to be getting drunk, start bar fights, cause a ruckus in town, and... <sighs> rape women. <laughs> I know that last one sounds wrong, but that's what happened in the story. However, no. In this game, he's blasting monsters with a being called the Psycho Wave. Someone must have been psychotic to come up with that idea. As obvious, all this crap never happens in the book, and I've read the book back in high school. <sighs> Although I can say it does parallel to the original title of the book, because this game really is a strange case! <laughs> Ow! By the way, how do you use the Psycho Wave? By pushing up and B. It's simple as that. Also, some enemies drop coins that you can use in the Jekyll stages. Speaking of which, after you blast enough enemies, Hyde will change back into Jekyll, you gain 70% health back, and you continue your dragging journey. Yeah, I'm being serious, this game drags more than a zombie with a limp leg. Jekyll moves at a snail's pace, and it gets really boring when there's nothing on screen. <laughs> As you progress, the enemies get worse. These spiders have no distinct pattern. They just go up whenever they feel like, and when they almost give you enough space, they would just rock it back down for no reason! No, seriously, what the fuck?! Then there's the birds that tries to shit on you, and they got it wrong. It's supposed to be a white splat pillar, not a poop mountain. That's literally dog shit! Then there are the bees. They're the only obstacle that can die by using the cane. Bees, my god. Then there's a grave digger shoveling dirt in your face, and there's a hunting maniac. Whenever he shoots a bird down, it drops on you like lawn darts. What the hell?! As you get to the 4th or 5th level, this is where the shit hits the fan. <laughs> the townsfolk just rams into Jekyll for no reason. They just chip your life bar down for the sake of fuck you. How is this fair? What is their problem? What did the good doctor do to make everyone act like assholes? Are they possessed or something? Sure, the game may give you unlimited continues, but it's not going to make up the enormous amount of crap they're throwing at you. Ugh, I need some more of that mystery juice. Hmm. That tastes like green apple. I don't know why, but I like it. You deliberately slow me down for the sake of slowing me down. It makes it worse when you notice that the level design in this game is on the bridge of repetition. Comparing it to the Famicom version, yes, a Famicom version, it has more variety in levels. Hello, Bandai of America? Why are you having love for repetition in the level designs? Well, I hate to bring this whole question out, but what were they thinking? Pull it together. Pull it together. Now I'm thinking of getting a copy of the Famicom version to compare the two. Ugh, can't get any worse than this. Duh! I hate how cheap these enemies are. What happened? Oh no 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 Wait 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 So far so good I have his No No What the fuck was that? The fucking game crashed on me No No God fucking damn it I can't believe it I can't believe it just can't believe it I can't just I can't believe this! The game outright crashed on me! My cartridge is cursed! I was so close to beating this game, but I'm getting the feeling that the game is self-aware and doesn't want me to beat it! 
At this point, I've had enough with this. I finally understand why this is the worst game on the NES. It only shares the source material by name only. If Robert Louis Stevenson managed to rise from the grave and see his work portrayed like this, he would have died again. The game does look fine by the graphics and the music settles the mood of the game, but the concept is confusing. The enemies, and I put that in quotations, only exist just to piss you off, and it was an unfocused mess of a game. No other words can describe how bad this is. If you think this game is okay, then you must be out of your fucking mind. And it's just very confusing. It kind of makes you want to go mad. <sighs> Bottom line, if you're going to complete your Nintendo Entertainment System collection, just keep Jekyll and Hyde out of your collection. It's just not worth the price at all. I should probably see this. What the? Oh, hell no. Wait, what's going on? Dude. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I can take you back to the right now. You gotta go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's gonna be Chernobyl all over again. Yep. Shit, fuck, shit, fuck, shit, fuck. There's gotta be something here that I can knock this fucker out with. It's gotta be something. Yes. <sighs> now you're talking. Alright, monster cunt! <laughs> nice now! That was a bastard, Gracie Sacker, fuck nuts! Alright, monster cunt! You ready? Dang, 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 dang! Wait, wait, Christian, what the hell? Look, look, I, you, we, we, look, if you're going to Thomas's, I suggest you don't, okay? All right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, let's, let's go. Yeah, I'll, let's go. I'll take you to Hooters, okay? Okay. Knock, knock. Go fuck your face! Fatality. Ow! Jesus, son! What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck was wrong with me? Dude, you're the one that turned into a fucking diabolical creature. Not me. Oh. How was that even possible? That might be your answer right there, genius. Oh, not again. Yeah, that... Yeah, that just made you cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, man. Believable. So this is what the cartridge is planned all along. Yeah, until you give it a proper review or something, it'll make it go... Wacko in the head, but... You know what? I, I, have this... a I have a better idea how to deal with this game. Show me. Never again. <laughs> and what the hell happened to Christian? I sent him outside to avoid the chaos. Uh, do I had to get out of the madness, right? Yeah. Uh, what about Brandon and Melissa? They couldn't make it, sadly, but... Oh, well. That's probably next time. Anyway, let's bring Christian back inside, shall we? I say that's a good idea. Well, yeah. What is going on here, man? Okay. You might even think I'm batshit crazy for saying this, but uh, the game that he was just reviewing turned into some fucking greasy sack of fucking nuts creature Damn. from uh, the 1800s. Huh. Let's just say it was not pretty at all. Uh, when has he ever been pretty? I know, right? Didn't expect to see you here. Hey, Stop well, you just missed uh, some insanity, but... What did I miss? Insanity. We'll just keep it short. Ah. Wait, did I hear you inside, though, somehow? Don't question my logic. Alright, anyway, let's just get inside, fellas. Alright. Ah, wow. Looks like, uh, Sleepy Thomas Beauty. got, uh, knocked out from I guess all so, this yeah. Sleepy yeah. Beauty's tucked out, finally. Uh, let's go! You know what, let's just, uh, head... 
Well, let's just head inside and just uh, get the movie started without him. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, guess, yeah. I, I just want to see this movie. I hear that was good. good. However, it was all fun seeing the nerd go full Mr. Hyde. No, it wasn't fun at all. I have a splitting headache after that episode. Your misery is my fun, after all. Good nightmare, foils and ghouls. Have a frightful and grave Halloween.